New at 6, one of the Army's elite skydivers now recovering in the hospital after a crash in Walworth County. The Golden Knight skydiving team is in town for Milwaukee's Air and Water Show. But a practice landed one of its members in a hospital bed. Michelle Fiore is live in East Troy with more. Michelle. Hi, Carol and Steve. Well, we're at Skydive Milwaukee here. This is where the Sky Knights Club operates out of. Last night, a few of them accompanied the Golden Knights parachuters on what was supposed to be a little recreational jump. We just obtained this video from the Golden Knights jump in East Troy. This picture-perfect night ended badly for Army Staff Sergeant Christopher Clark. It was uh, a pretty scary situation, obviously. I. I, uh, it was nice to see all the neighbors pitch in and help where they could. Derek DePoit walked us to the marshy area behind his home. This is where the Golden Knight, with more than five years experience, hit the ground hard. He was in a lot of pain, but he was coherent enough to give somebody his phone number to call his wife. Uh, but he was moving his arms and legs, at least, uh, although in a lot of pain. Staff Sergeant Clark's story hit the tight-knit parachuting community immediately. We were encouraged by the fact that he was seen to be alert and awake last night uh, when medical help arrived. Uh, but we were all sitting on the edge of our seats today to, to hear the follow-up news, and uh, it was quite a relief to find out that he's going to be okay. Skydive Milwaukee is continuing to operate its normal business hours today, and the Golden Knights spent the day preparing for this weekend's shows. An Army spokesman tells us, while it's difficult to hear of accidents like this, it's what they trained for, and he says it's not the first time it's happened to one of their own. And there's no official word from the Golden Knights about exactly what went wrong. The witnesses on the ground tell us it appeared the primary chute just didn't open and the secondary one didn't open until it was just about 100 feet from the ground. Still, they believe that second chute is the one that saved his life. Reporting live in East Troy, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Yeah, thank goodness he's alive and alert. Thank and, you, Michelle. And